Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with another show and tell. This one from a lovely bit of kit I spotted on social media. Uh, this is a creation made by Gary Fay of Gary Fay Creations. We'll include a link down below. Um, it was really neat and I was super taken with what he's building. Um, it's a 3D printed human augmentation, let's say. And I'm about to open it up and see one for real for the first time. So this is a, a genuine unboxing. So those of you who don't like knives being plunged into packages and worry about them splitting things open, you might want to avert your gaze. That's how I open packages. All right, let's see here. That is one dull X-Acto blade I've got in here. Oh. Looks like there's no assembly required. Ladies and gentlemen. I love the way he put that together. That is freaking fabulous. So let's see here, it goes, yeah. I think this is, yep, yep, yep. So you can see that it is five fingers, but there is a cool thing going on here. And it's this. Oh, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this, oh my God, oh, oh, look at that, Gary, oh, okay, this is really, really lovely, and it fits me like a glove, you knew that joke was going to happen, um, I'm sure that Gary gets this in his email every time he sends one of these out. Um, but truth be told, it should fit like a glove because I sent Gary measurements of my hands in order that this was fit to me. And to be honest, it works magnificently. Um, these kind of finger extension rigs are not new. Uh, Rick Baker has built them for years and every other effects shop has done things like this, augmented uh, gearing to add uh, digital bending past the normal fingers, but I don't think I've ever seen something as extreme as this. And frankly, if I ever got around to doing a Babadook costume, I'm gonna freak your shit out. <laughs> okay, so the way it works is there's a collar that goes around the base of my finger, uh, and that's the stationary part. Uh, then the part that I'm actually moving with my finger, which is that fleshy bit at the end of my index finger, that activates this lever off the base that's connected to a gear at the first knuckle. And then there's a parallelogram between the first knuckle and the second knuckle, and that adds that secondary bending. It's really lovely. And to be honest, with mechanical work like this, when you have a secondary joint, oftentimes, uh, you can feel the mechanism binding in places, um, and you know that's like where you're gonna end up in some trouble. Not so here. Uh, I feel no binding on this. Uh, it's very lightweight. Um, I can feel that this will tire out my thumbs faster than the other fingers, um, and that may require just a little bit of like some custom fitting on that thumb just to make it a little tighter, but really good bit of mechanics here. Awesome. Oh. Oh my, oh my pretties. Oh my goodness. Hmm. 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 I wonder how I shall kill the children. Uh, obviously anything with fingers this long. <laughs> it eats children. I think we're all pretty clear on that. Oh my God, Gary, this is so much fun. And look, I've got like fleshy bits and robot bits. I mean, I may change the paint job simply because 
well, you know how I like to personalize. Um, but, oh man. Oh, wow, look, it reaches all the way around my neck. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I could do this for another 25 minutes. Narrator, he did do it for another 25 minutes, but I think it's reasonable for me to end this video here. Gary Fay of Gary Fay Creations. Uh, this is a lovely, lovely piece of work, and I'm delighted to have this in my costume collection, and I am totally going to use it on something because it's freaking awesome and freaking scary.